Six things to find out if your genetics are good or bad for bodybuilding. Number one is the most important thing for you to know whether you will gain muscle or not, and you need to know this, so go ahead and leave a like and stay until the end of the video. Number six, body shapes. You may have noticed that some people are naturally thinner. Others seem to gain muscle just by looking at weights, while some tend to accumulate fat more easily. These are the three basic body types that can directly influence your results in the gym. The first type is ectomorphs. If you are the type that struggles to gain weight, whether muscle or fat, you are probably an ectomorph and may not even know it. This body type is characterized by a fast metabolism, which can make it harder to gain muscle mass. However, this doesn't mean you can't succeed in bodybuilding. If you're an ectomorph, your focus should be on increasing your daily caloric intake, and we're not talking about fast food, okay? Your diet should be rich in quality proteins and complex carbohydrates to promote muscle growth. Oh, and it's important not to overdo aerobic exercises, as they can burn the precious calories your body needs to gain mass. Later in this video, I'll share an important tip that can help you bulk up, even if your genetics aren't so favorable for gaining muscle. The second body type is mesomorphs. If you gain muscle easily, congratulations! You are probably a mesomorph and didn't even know it. This body type responds incredibly well to weight training, and in many cases, just a moderate effort brings good results. However, it's important not to fall into the trap of slacking off just because you have this genetic advantage. To keep progressing, it's essential to keep your workouts challenging, varying the intensity and volume of exercises to stimulate consistent muscle growth. Finally, we have endomorphs, a fairly common body type, especially among Americans over 30 who do bodybuilding. If you tend to gain weight quickly, whether fat or muscle, you are probably an endomorph. The key for endomorphs is to find the right balance between aerobic training and weightlifting, and to maintain a more controlled diet to avoid excessive fat accumulation. Focusing on a restricted diet that helps keep body fat levels low is crucial for gaining muscle mass without sacrificing muscle definition. These three body types directly influence how your body responds to training and diet, and by understanding this, you can adapt your training and diet strategies to achieve the best possible results. Number five, limb length and muscle insertions. If you've ever wondered why certain exercises feel easier while others are a real challenge, either in execution or form, the answer may lie in the length of your limbs and your muscle insertions. These biomechanical details directly affect how your body responds to weightlifting. And it's very important that you understand this before it becomes an obstacle to your progress, hindering future muscle gains due to a lack of this crucial information. People with shorter limbs usually have a mechanical advantage in certain exercises. This means that in activities like bench presses or squats, they can lift more weight with less effort compared to those with longer limbs. If you fit this profile, take advantage of it by focusing on exercises like bench presses and squats, as you can achieve greater efficiency both in the weight lifted and muscle activation. On the other hand, if you have longer arms and legs, you may need to pay extra attention to your technique to avoid injury and ensure your muscles are being activated properly. The length of your limbs can make it harder to maintain good form during some exercises, so perfect technique is essential to ensure results and safety. When we talk about muscle insertions, we're referring to the point where the muscle connects to the bone. Lower insertions tend to give muscles a fuller and more aesthetic look, especially in the biceps and calves. While we can't change our muscle insertions, we can maximize the muscle's appearance by using a good range of motion during exercises. Additionally, it's crucial to stay focused on proper execution during workouts. Later in this video, I will share something very important about your genetics 
that could be hindering your muscle growth. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss this information. Details like limb length and muscle insertions often go unnoticed, but they make all the difference in how you train and the results you get. Understanding these factors is essential for improving your workouts even more and efficiently achieving your goals. Number 4. Muscle Fibers Did you know that the composition of your muscle fibers can surprisingly influence your performance, the way you should train, and your results? The body's muscles are made up of two main types of fibers. Slow-twitch fibers, type 1, and fast-twitch fibers, type 2. The proportion of these two types in your body can directly affect your performance in different physical activities. Type 1 fibers are ideal for endurance activities, like running, cycling, and general aerobic exercises. They are more fatigue-resistant, which means they can sustain effort for long periods, but they have a limited capacity for muscle growth. If you find that you can endure long workouts and have good stamina, it's likely that your body has a predominance of type 1 fibers. To maximize your results, the best approach is to focus on workouts that require more endurance and volume, like circuits and supersets, and keep a moderate intensity to favor lasting effort. Type 2 fibers, on the other hand, are more suited for explosive and high-intensity activities, such as weightlifting and sprints. These fibers have a greater potential for muscle growth and respond well to short-duration, high-intensity stimuli. If you notice that you can lift heavy weights with ease and tend to gain strength and muscle mass more quickly, this may indicate a predominance of type 2 fibers. In this case, the most effective workouts for you would be those focused on strength and power with fewer repetitions and heavier loads as this type of fiber is mainly activated during high-intensity exercises. Understanding the muscle fiber composition in your body is crucial for customizing your workouts and optimizing your results. By knowing if you have a predominance of type 1 or type 2 fibers, you can adjust your workout routines to focus on the characteristics that will bring the greatest benefit to your muscle development and physical performance. Did you know that a simple like and comment can greatly help our channel grow? So don't forget to leave your like and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any of our videos. Your participation makes all the difference. Number 3. Muscle Recovery Here's something many people overlook but it could be affecting your results without you even realizing it. Muscle recovery time. This factor is directly related to your genetics and can influence how quickly your body recovers after an intense workout. Understanding how your body responds to this process is essential for optimizing your performance and avoiding injuries. If you find that you're ready for another workout the very next day, that's a great sign. It means your body is efficient at repairing and regenerating muscles quickly, needing less recovery time between sessions. In this case, you can benefit from more frequent workouts, training up to six times a week, as long as you alternate muscle groups to avoid overloading. This quick recovery ability allows you to maintain an intense training routine without suffering from excessive muscle soreness or the risk of injury. On the other hand, if you need more rest time between workouts and feel that your muscles take longer to recover, it's important to adjust your routine. This is not a disadvantage, but it does require a different strategy. Giving your body the necessary time for full recovery is crucial to avoid excessive fatigue and prevent injuries. If this is your case, consider training less frequently, maybe three to four times a week and use the recovery time for active rest, such as stretching, light walking, or low-impact activities. This helps keep the body moving without overloading it, promoting blood circulation, and speeding up the muscle recovery process. Respecting your recovery time is essential to maximizing your gains in the gym and ensuring that you continue progressing in a healthy and safe manner. Number two. Resistance to Fat Accumulation If you are over 40, 
You have probably noticed that keeping your body fat levels under control can be challenging, and in many cases, these levels go beyond normal as time goes by. However, your metabolism and genetics play a fundamental role in this process, and understanding how they affect your body is essential for getting the best results. That's why you should share this video with others, so they can also learn about their genetic type and how to adjust their diet and training to maximize the benefits. Your genetics have a significant influence on how your body processes calories and stores fat, and understanding this can decisively change your approach. For example, if you have a fast metabolism, you can eat more without accumulating much fat. This means you can do a clean bulking. In other words, gain muscle without worrying too much about excessive fat accumulation. However, it's important to focus on nutrient-rich foods, such as lean proteins and complex carbohydrates, to ensure your body gets the right nutrients for muscle growth without neglecting diet quality. On the other hand, if you have a slower metabolism and tend to gain weight easily, your strategy needs to be adjusted. In this case, Calorie moderation and strict diet control become fundamental to avoiding fat accumulation while working to gain muscle mass. In addition, high-intensity activities such as interval training or high-intensity circuits can be great allies to help keep fat levels under control while you work on building muscle faster and more efficiently. Understanding the role of metabolism and genetics in fat accumulation is essential for adjusting your training and nutrition strategies, especially as you age. Number 1. Hormones Hormone production plays a crucial role in your muscle gain progress, especially after the age of 40. At this stage, testosterone and growth hormone, GH, begin to decrease in the body, which can affect your bodybuilding results. Many people aren't aware of this change, but before you start worrying, know that despite the genetic influence on hormone levels, there are effective ways to stimulate the production of these hormones naturally. Even after 40, one of the main hormones related to muscle gain is testosterone. This hormone is responsible for a large part of muscle growth and strength. People with naturally high testosterone levels have a significant advantage in bodybuilding because they can gain muscle mass more quickly and recover more easily after intense workouts. However, if your testosterone levels aren't as high as you'd like, there are ways to improve them naturally. The secret lies in simple lifestyle adjustments. Getting proper sleep, 7 to 9 hours a night, maintaining a diet rich in healthy fats, such as avocados, nuts, and olive oil, and training intensely are some of the most effective ways to stimulate testosterone production. Additionally, focusing on compound exercises, such as squats and deadlifts, and lifting heavy weights, can give an extra boost to the production of this important hormone for muscle development. Another hormone that influences muscle gain is growth hormone, GH. GH is essential for muscle gain, recovery, and fat burning. In the United States, it is widely known, and GH-related supplements are highly sought after. Just like testosterone, GH levels decrease with age, but they can be stimulated with a few simple practices. One of the most important factors for increasing GH production is ensuring quality sleep as the body releases most of this hormone during nighttime rest. High-intensity workouts and even intermittent fasting have also been associated with increased GH levels. If you're looking to improve your hormone levels after the age of 40, remember that these lifestyle adjustments can make a big difference in your progress. Additionally, there are supplements available that can help in this process, but it's always a good idea to consult a healthcare professional before incorporating them into your routine. By naturally stimulating testosterone and GH production, you can continue achieving great results in your workouts and optimize your muscle recovery even as the years go by. Before you leave, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new content. 
and click on the video that's appearing on your screen so we can continue our conversation in other video. See you there.